Division property of equality. This says that if A equals B and our C value is not equal to zero, then I can take A equals B and I can divide both sides by C and it will remain a true statement. Okay, so what does that mean to us in terms of algebra? Well, in basic algebra, we often are given a problem that says solve. That's what we do a lot of in the basic levels. And we're going to be given a problem that says maybe something like 5x is equal to 15. Now my goal really is to figure out what x is. Now, for some of these, it's pretty basic. I could sit here and guess and check, and I could say 5 times what equals 15. 5 times 1, no, that would be 5. 5 times 2, nope, that would be 10. 5 times 3, okay, that's 15. That works. Now, that might work on an easy level, but on a more advanced one, that may not work. So what we can do with this division property is I could say, rather than sitting here and guessing and checking, I could go ahead and divide both sides by the same value as long as it's not zero and this will come out to be a true statement. So those will reduce and 15 divided by 5 will give me 3. And there's my solution. Now remember, we can't divide by zero because division means that we're breaking it into pieces. So if I say I'm dividing by 5 I'm taking a number and I'm breaking it into five equal pieces. But if I divide by zero, how do I break something up into zero equal pieces? Can't be done, therefore we can't do it in math either. Okay, so we can though, however, use this for other problems. So it's possible that we may have something like solve negative six x equal to 24. Now, what am I going to divide by in this case? What number am I going to divide by to get x by itself? So first thing is find that x and figure out what we can do to get rid of that problem. Well, if I divide both sides by negative 6, the goal here is to eliminate that number in front so this reduces out not cancels but reduces to 1 and this reduces to give me well a positive divided by a negative is a negative and 24 divided by 6 would be 4. Be really careful with the signs because that's where a lot of people make their basic mistakes on these type of things. So division property of equality just says as long as it's not 0 I can divide both sides of an equation and I'll get a true statement back.